Okay, you guys, I'm back. I'm going to try to keep this as concise as I can. Um, and because a lot of the solar system, solar system dreams and visions have been coming to pass so fast, especially since um, the eclipse, you know, stuff of solar systems and Nibiru dreams and visions that I've had way before. So last night, first of all, the thumbnail that I'm using, um, someone that I'm sub, sub, someone, a Facebook friend was sharing another friend's photos of pur these purple skies. He didn't really get to see the eclipse. He has some inter interesting photos. What I can do is just run over and be nosy <laughs> and link his like five group of videos, I mean, not videos, photos. Um, a lot of them are purple, you guys. You know, I had this purple, this royal purple vision. Um, the same time that I had the green and the blood orange. And most of my visions come to pass. Um, if I have them all in one day, they come to pass usually in the, the same day or the days after. Like, they... They, they fulfill themselves or they are fulfilled um, close together just like m most of the time, just like I have them um, in a day or so. So um, anyway, so this is this is so beautiful. Remember I told you guys I had the royal the royal pur royal purple vision and then I saw the this uh, video of purple skies. Um, on Paul Begley's channel. He has it featured there. It's about a song, um, God, let your word speak to me or something. And then, you know, I was saying that, you know, it's, it's, it's very possible that we'll see purple, pink, green, orange, whatever. And um, uh, this is, I just didn't expect to see this photo. Um, but it happened during the eclipse. And this is the most purple. All the other photos on his on his channel, on his Facebook page, are grayish purple, but they're still purple, okay? It's beautiful, you guys. So, last night, after making the video, I had a open vision in the night of what looked like a red solar flare. In the best way, I'm going to leave a video that perfectly shows kind of how I saw it and um this is a video of the eclipse now they didn't say anything about the red flare or anything but there's more about this nibiru system in the eclipse so i'll go on and i don't know why i saw it i'll just have to because i've seen this video and it's actually just continuously recirculating so maybe it's drawing my attention to nibiru in the red kachina um AKA Red Kachina or two separate things or whatever, uh, Nebiru system. Okay. Um, also, l last night, well, let me, let me go back. So somebody shared a video last night on, in the comments of the last video I did and basically it is a video showing little clusters of looks like planets faintly but you can see them around the sun um and i think it's during the time of the eclipse or just around the sun i'm not sure now i can't remember but it reminded me of that dream i had several months ago and the most recent one but the ones um no, yeah, it reminds me of the one I just had recently where I saw a cluster of planets, you guys. This solar, this whole dream of solar system, a cluster of seven planets. And coincidentally enough, someone also commented on a video last night um, of an old, old video that I did about a month ago of two, no, more than that. But anyway, about two sons, and she was saying that she she believes that it is the, um, what is it, um, 
the solar, what you call the thick simulator. And also, she also had a dream of eight planets, I think she said. And I just was blown away because I was going to share this video here. Um, so other people have, she just, just randomly was commenting on this video. Um, and I'll leave the, I'll leave the video below where it shows like little faint red and maybe blue, um, objects behind the sun. Okay. Um, it also reminds me of the, this, this Nibiru dream that I had a long time ago. I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, so I had a dream last night. I don't know if I told you yet or, or not. I had a dream last night that it was daytime. This is the only thing I remember. So maybe you can call it a vision. Um, it was daytime and there was an eclipse and it was, it looked like this white planet moon thingy being about halfway eclipsed with something dark but it was in the middle of the day you know the skies wasn't dark it was daytime and it looked like this planet moon thingy which may be the lord may be trying to tell me that this sun simulator has something to do with our eclipse um I'll talk about that in a minute but it was partially eclipsed by something and I didn't sleep very well last night, but this is the only thing I remember and, and maybe the only thing I've, I dreamed about. I feel like I dreamed about something else, but I just can't remember. Okay, you guys? So I wake up this morning and Brandon has a video of, I guess, our eclipse next to the sun or the sun simulator. It... It's a video showing a photo of something captured near the sun. Okay, you guys? And it's just like I saw it. Except for in my dream, it didn't have anything around it. And I just knew it was daytime. So I knew. This is the first video I saw this morning, you guys. I think, I think, I think before I watched True News, it had to be, I think. So I'll leave his video below, you guys. He also put out a video yesterday. You guys can watch it. Appears to be an object right near the sun. Okay. Um, I guess I'm go I'm going to also leave a video of the the best footage that I've seen of this planet moon thingy. Um, caught on tape. The one that I told you yesterday that you cannot see with your solar glasses. And I, I just happened upon it uh, sometime this morning, you guys. And one more thing. Um, I'm going to leave a video that it, this one popped up too. It looks like two suns and a different object. In the back of it, um, towards the near the end of the video, it looks like two suns or our sun and Nibiru and something else in the back of it. But I think the name of his video is Nibiru in front of the sun, or he says this in the video, Nibiru in front of the sun. And I had a dream where... And it's on my channel. Maybe I can I'll link it. I need to go back and look at it. But when he said that, it reminded me of how I saw uh, Nibiru move, uh, eclipse our sun. It came in front of our sun. And I can see some other planets in the background. A, a few. Maybe three or four. And this was also the same dream where there were two crescent moons, okay? Two crescent moons, I think, on the side of it or it was in the same scene. Yeah, I want to say it was probably on the side of this, this red planet. And 
I told my mom in the dream, Mama, it's time to go. Because well, we seen this thing. I was like, oh, yeah, it's time to go. Okay, you guys? Not only does this line up with ISIS and terrorism, I know I did an update because something happened in Turkey, I believe. And the news story was showing this crescent, these two crescent moons, I, I believe, two or one on the back of an ambulance. Something happened, and I can't remember. So, but radicalism, you guys, and Nibiru is the destroyer that God promised that he would send to judge. Okay? And I'm going to find that verse. I always say that. But I need to find a verse. I think it's in Isaiah. But this video is kind of it's kind of it's kind of long so just skip through it okay you guys but you'll see at the end these other objects behind these two suns it's crazy um it just reminded me of that dream with the two crescent moons and the and the destroyer just this destroyer just whipped up in front of in my dream just whipped up in front of the sun and i told my mama it's time to go home you know, guys it's time to go home NASA has been lying to us about so much. God is faithful enough to have shown not just me, but other people that they are trying to hide things. Uh, I give God all the glory. Um, uh, yeah, these skies are about to turn beautiful, but it's not because uh, uh, of global warming. It's because of these seven planets. Even the Lord showed me this stuff that I never even knew about you guys. Never, I would have never known unless the Lord showed me. Um, you guys, they can't ha hide this stuff anymore. And I think after this eclipse, I'm going to say it again, Nibiru will begin to show itself. I seen all kind of foolery this morning, and they came trailing like a fool, and it's about to rain. Okay, um, I'm just going to, I'm going to leave all the videos below, and and I will also take the time to link Caleb's um, video. He featured, he showed a, um, a lady talking about a beheading and fear. You guys, we have nothing to fear. She had a dream. That she asked the Lord specifically to help her with her fear. And the Lord gave her an incredible dream. And this thing had to do with ISIS. And it had to do with beheading. And it had to do with Jesus coming. Uh, please watch it. It's, it's, it's very powerful. And um, so we have nothing to fear. I know it's time to go. Okay, you guys. I didn't want to make this this short. I knew videos would be coming. Um, keep them coming. Keep sharing. I appreciate everybody who shared with me. Uh, and I'll share with others as you um, share with me. Okay. I'll leave Caleb's video below also that he shared last night. All right. God bless y'all.